Hi folks, this is Karim Rao from IT Visualizer channel. We will continue our lab, the Red Alert Lab. This is the video number 61. We have been discussing in the previous video the following. We have uh, discussed uh, in the previous video how we can create a professional IT audit report uh, using the Department of Defense of the United States recommendations and through its program STIG viewer. So this is a program uh, created by the Department of Defense and it helps us uh, in addition to their recommendations to create a professional IT audit report to audit our environment. So for example, if you need to audit your, for example, Windows 10 security, you can use the STIG viewer program and uh, create a report and see what recommendations of the Department of Defense are applied to your Windows 10 environment and what applications are not applied. And all of these are in a professional report you can use to uh, display it, its results to your uh, CEO or to your uh, owner of your company or to uh, present it to external auditors. So this is a good way to create uh, a, an audit report and to uh, document your uh, 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 environment security. Okay, make it as a documentation. Okay, you can do this IT audit reports on a, a, a regular basis, for example, to do it monthly, weekly, uh, yearly. So this is a way you can create audit reports and uh, uh, document it in a very professional way. Okay, so we have discussed this in the previous video. This video will return back to our lab and begin working with uh, different scenarios, okay, or different things. Okay, first of all, uh, in this video, we will discuss how we can uh, make a script to add the employee ID and the employee manager to the Active Directory user attributes. So, for example, when you create a user in the Active Directory, you have to fill different fo different forms or different fields. One of them is the first name of the user, the last name of the user, and then the username, and then the organization, his mobile phone, his email, and one of the fields you need to or uh, fill or you can optionally fill is the manager of this user and the employee ID okay what is the employee ID when you are recruited in a company or you are uh, hired in a company the HR gives you or the human resources give you an employee ID it is a unique number that will ad identify you to the payroll system or the human resources system so uh, the HR can search by your ID not by your name because some users or some employees have the same name so the employee ID it is a unique number that will identify uh, the person to the payroll system or to the HR system okay so it is good uh, to have this important info to be added to the active directory user attribute and also to have the manager of the user to be also added to the active directory user attribute I have been uh, in the beginning of the lab, I have created a script to fill these two fields, but actually the script didn't work. So in this video, I will fix this problem with another script. So we will use uh, two lines of scripts to update the field of the manager and the field in the, of the employee ID in all of the active on all of the active directory users attributes. Let's have a look. The script will go and uh, see some uh, Excel sheets to uh, use them to update the field. So for example, we will use a script and then this script will go and uh, read these columns. So this is the uh, username of the user and this is his manager. Okay, so he's Derek McBride. This is the manager of Keraof. So the script will go and read the username and then update the field of the manager in the Active Directory user attribute to be Derek McBride. So these are all of the usernames and these are all of the managers. So this is the first script. It will run and go and check this Excel sheet or CSV file and update the Active Directory user attribute based on this Excel sheet or this text file. Okay, this is for the employee uh, uh, manager. As for the employee number or employee ID, we will give him the first name and the last name of the user, the same account or the username of the user, and this is the employee number, okay? Uh, it is not named uh, in the Active Directory as employee number. It is named as employee ID, okay? So employee number here means it is the employee ID. <laughs> so 
let's see how we can use two scripts to update the employee number field in the Active Directory user attribute and to update the manager field in the Active Directory user attribute okay and by the way if you need to use any script to uh, fill any fields in the Active Directory I have a, a simple Excel sheet that will give you uh, the name that you need to use in the script to fill a certain Active Directory field so for example if you need to for example let's have a look here if you need to for example fill the company field in the Active Directory you need, you need to use in the script okay something called company so this is how you can use it for example if you need to up, up, uh, update the company field in the Active Directory in the script you will write update company okay so for example let's see another thing for example if you need to apply the country field in the Active Directory in the script you need to write CO so this is an abbreviation of country so in the script you will not write country to update the field you need to write only CO okay and if you need to apply to update the name you need only in the script to type CN so this is a simple Excel sheet that will give you the LDAP name so this is the field that you use in your script and the display name so this is the field name display displayed in the active directory and this is the field that you will use to update the display field in the active directory so the field in the active directory have two uh, ways to appear display name this is how it appears to, for you as a user and ldap name this is how the script will see it okay so sometimes they are the same and sometimes they are different but anyway if you are using a script to update a certain field in the active directory you need to see it from the ldap name here okay i will leave this in a google drive uh, link so you can use it later if you need to apply certain or to update certain active directory user attributes inside active directory so let's begin our video and see how we can do this so we will go first and copy these two csv files we will copy them and we will use a PowerShell script to apply or to fill this field so then I am copy them to my local drive on my power workstation and then we will open uh, a PowerShell window okay and run the script so let's see how we can do this and actually it will be a very short video because uh, I will dedicate or uh, I will make the next video uh, a longer one and I need to uh, dedicate it to uh, using password managers we will talk about this very important topic the next video so here we can see that for example this is the two lines of scripts that will apply uh, first of all the manager field in the active directory user attributes and the employee number or the employee ID okay this will be applied using these two scripts the script will read from a certain CSV file and it will apply the fields or will fill the fields from the columns of the text file okay so we need to work with these two uh, lines the first line will update the manager field the second line will update the employee ID so let's see how we can do this we will copy uh, this uh, this line of script and we need to open a PowerShell uh, uh, command so here I need to first of all to change the line of script to go and read these files because they are in D location in the uh, uh, text or in the script it is sh it is uh, referring to uh, a wrong location here it's referring to C test import CSV so this is not the the, 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 the the text file I need the script to to read from I need it to read from D okay employee number dot CSV so he can import the data from this CSV file so let's change the location <coughs> first of all this is for the employee ID this is not for the manager field this is for the employee ID okay we will change it so first we will import or we will fill first the employee number or the employee ID in the Active Directory so let's begin we need first to open a, a, a PowerShell command okay so we can use it from the Windows Admin Center to open a PowerShell remotely or to open it from uh, the uh, POW workstation so we run as an administrator 
and then we need to go to the D partition D and then run the script and see what will happen and press enter and then we will wait for a couple of seconds because we have about 4,336 4, users or something so they will be updated, the, the fields will be updated a long uh, number of uh, users okay, to update their fields okay, so let's wait and see and some errors will appear, maybe these errors appear because certain users are not created or certain users are duplicated or something anyway, we will check and see if the fields are uh, filled or not so let's wait and see and do not get confused because in the active director there is two fields something called employee id this is the one that you are trying to fill and there's something called employee number okay so it is the employee id that is named okay or the employee id that is filled not the employee number maybe the text file is named employee number but this is not the case it is the employee id okay so we will open and we will see there is some errors okay saying that uh, some uh, active directory users he cannot fill their uh, fields so let's see and take take one uh, user uh, randomly and see if the employee id field is filled or not so let's wait and see if this will be done we will open and see the employee id okay so we will open the active directory and we will randomly choose a user and see the employee id and is actually why we fill this field because it is a good uh, info we can uh, it will help us to for example when the user is making a termination okay i can help the hr by giving them the employee id so sometimes the hr when you are terminating a user he will ask you about the employee id he can search his system and did this uh, info but it is good uh, for you as it to know this info and provide it to the hr and actually it will help you also in a lot of things okay this is a good info I, I encourage you all to put it in the Active Directory something like the mobile or cell phone of the user you can also put it in the Active Directory user attribute the email all of these are info that will help you to uh, 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 identify the user if your username is not enough uh, to identify the user okay so let's see if you get any user and see if we can uh, or we have filled the field of the employee id actually the employee id it will not appear in one of the tabs of the active directory user uh, properties it will appear in a certain tab i will show you all how we can get it so this is able grin we need to go to attribute editor okay and let's see how we can see the employee number these are all the fields in the active directory so here we can see that the employee id is 1000304 this is the employee id do not get confused there is another thing called employee number this maybe it's a number uh, se not cell phone telephone number actually or another thing but employee id this is the one that we need to fill okay so here we can get the employee id okay and actually we can run a certain script to export this kind of info so we have imported it there is another uh, command to export it when needed okay or we can use an active directory live report to get this data i have discussed before it is an active directory live report please refer to my uh, covid19 lab and see the active directory live reports okay so this is the employee id we need to fill the employee manager okay and we will see how we can get it we can get it from the organization tab we can see the manager of the user so we need to fill the field of the manager so now we have successfully implemented <coughs> the first script let's implement the second script okay this is an employee manager we need to tell him it is in D <coughs> partition so the script can go and import the data from this text file so we will change the location and tell him D and then we need to run uh, the script and see actually there is some spaces here so you will get an error first because the the script should not contain any spaces so let's see when when I type it like this and I give it to uh, the PowerShell 
it will give me an error so let's wait and see for example I uh, tell him CLS just to clear the screen or clear and then we we will type here you can see that he is saying that any empty pipeline element is not allowed so because there is a space here we need to make it in one line so we will uh, just get the line up okay and we need to get it in one line so let's see if we copy this line as it is and then and then again apply it let's see if he will uh, accept this time or not and now actually I'm just making it more uh, there is no spaces so all will appear in one line so let's see here it will appear in one line okay with no spaces okay so we will copy it and we will see if uh, the manager just a just a moment guys just a moment so let's continue guys we will again try to apply the script but without spaces so let's see if he will accept uh, this script without any errors and then let's press enter here also we will have some errors appearing because some uh, users doesn't have a manager so this is a problem okay or this will uh, arise some errors but anyway we will check and see if the uh, the users will have managers or the field of the manager will be uh, filled uh, in the active directory user attributes so let's wait also because we have a lot of users <coughs> and actually it is an important info to know the manager of the user so we can uh, know who we can dir directly speak to when there is a problem okay and this also helps us to document uh, our users uh, job uh, or hierarchy or how we can know the managers of each uh, each department okay so this will help us to uh, categorize the users based on the manager if for example we need to create a group based on the manager field we can use this important info to do this so <coughs> let's continue <laughs> So it will take a little bit of time and we'll see some errors we need to pause the video and then we have a lot of things here says directory object not found because the field of manager is not filled in the uh, text file or the CSV file so this uh, is why this error appears let's see if there is any uh, uh, field filled or not here we can see that for example this user he is called Adrian Nicholas so he's a captain in the uh, Navy of the United States okay a UN force okay and his user is Damian Nelson so here we can see that here is the manager field appearing we can change it and do it to another thing anyway so this means that our script is successful okay so we need uh, here I will just uh, here we need to uh, stop because we have already finished our video the next video will begin working or we begin talking about key pass this is a very important password manager we need to use to uh, secure our uh, passwords in our uh, environment okay so hope this video is informative for you all and thank you all for viewing thank you so much